Hi, Pox here. You're watching the Two Smart Guys show. It's just me today, but I've got a really simple hack to show you. Um, if you were sleeping last weekend, <laughs> the jailbreak that came out that would allow you to get homebrew apps and fun things on your iPad 3. Pretty easy. It's called Absinthe, and I'll take you through the steps and my experiences with it. Uh, first off, it's just a simple download. Uh, you go to bring greenpoison.com. There's a link in our show notes. You download it. Mac, PC, Linux. Before you run it, you want to make sure and back up your iPad in iTunes and then go to General Settings, Erase All Content and Settings off your iPad. If you don't do this, uh, it will take forever and possibly not even work. So after you've got your iPad reset, if it's a 3G iPad, you'll need to plug it back in with USB to your computer and let it authenticate because if it isn't activated this won't work. After it's activated then you can go ahead and just click on jailbreak and it does the whole process all by itself. It reboots a couple times. After it's all done then you can go back into iTunes and then restore your iPad and then when it comes back up you can see that there's City on there and that's where you're gonna go into and that's where you're gonna download all the fun stuff. You can get emulators like these the Super Nintendo one, play your old Mario games fun things that you can't normally do on an iPad. There's all kinds of tweaks. In fact, I think we'll do some episodes later on the different things that you can do once you have a jailbroken that you normally can't. There's an app that allows you to run apps, iPhone apps on the iPad in full screen mode as opposed to just doubling it where the resolution's kind of funky. Pretty cool stuff. Um, if you like our show, we have longer, more in-depth shows, usually every Monday, and a live show every Wednesday at 8.30 mountain time. Uh, if you want to follow me, I'm uh, at Walking Crow on Twitter. And uh, subscribe, please, to the feed. Uh, and leave comments below on what kind of jailbroken apps are your favorite and the reasons why you think people should go ahead and jailbreak their iPad or iPhone. See you guys next week. Bye. This has been the Two Smart Guys production.